feeling very cold is it very cold there hmm okay i think your mic is muted i am not able to hear you but i hope everything is okay with you all so 9 out of 16 people have joined from Bo borai balika vidya mandir that is very nice we have bmhs college students joining us now welcome bmhs school good afternoon everybody are you able to hear me nice so we will just have a recount recount means revise or remember so we will recount what we learnt last week last week the session was on introducing yourself and for that we played one song so can we all sing that song once more i'll play that song for all of you will you sing okay i'm sharing the screen now you will be able to see everything that happens on the screen you are able to see the screen now yes so now let us start this song first all of you have to repeat the song i'll play this song twice first time just listen to it understand second time you have to repeat the song along with the song so means you have to repeat yourself while the song is played on the video so here now Your name. My name's Jane. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Danny. okay did you hear the song did you hear the song okay good so now you have to repeat now you have listened to the song you have to repeat the song now yourself 
along with the video, please say it loud. Everybody has to say it. What's your name? My name's James. How are you? What's your name? My name's Danny. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? It's nice to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? You have to sing. Hello. How are you? What's your name? My name's Poochie. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? It's nice to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Hello. What's your name? My name. Okay. So what did you learn here? It's basically looking at how to introduce yourself. Now, let me actually share with you the a short understanding of one more video which will help you understand some of the important elements that you learned. See here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, man. Okay. I have something interesting here. Today, we are going to watch a film which has different kinds of conversations. It's an interesting way to learn how to converse. What does it contain? Different common situations. The first section has greetings, introductions, conversation starters, and invitation. Greetings? We just say hello, don't we? Not always. In the classroom, we use, good morning. Exactly. That's the <laughs> difference. You say hi or hello when you greet one another. But while at home in the office or in a classroom, you use, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. So, what we are talking about here is, whenever you meet another person, how do you greet So, when you are meeting a person who is of your same age or who is a person who is very close to you, like your father, your uncle, your mother, whom you are very close, you can say hi. But when you are actually meeting a large group, an unknown person, a senior or an elder person, you should actually not say hi. You should say good morning. If it is morning. If it is afternoon, good afternoon. If it is evening, good evening. So this greeting, you should be very clear what it entails. When I mean entails, what it means to you or what it includes whenever you are talking. So it depends on the time of the day. 
it depends on the person to whom you are speaking. You are going to say whether it's hi or hello or you're going to say good morning, good afternoon and good evening depending on the time. Okay, man. What's the best way for introductions? While introducing yourself, you can use Hello, I'm Rajiv or I'm Geeta. While introducing others, you could say Ma'am, can I try? Yes, why not? Hello, everybody. Meet my friend Akash. Hmm, that's good. You could also use This is my friend Akash. While introducing a colleague, you could say I would like to introduce my colleague, Mr. Vijay. So, there is a when you're introducing yourself, you said good morning, good afternoon, I am so and so, I am Jyoti, I am Mandar, I am actually Gaur Mandal. So, you can talk any of those things. But when you're introducing, I am Dr. Balasubramani. But if you when you're introducing your friend, you can say, This is my friend, Premvada. This is my friend, Rinit. So you can say that when you're introducing the other person. It can also be that you can say, meet my friend so-and-so, meet my colleague so-and-so, meet my friend matlab, saheli ya koi dost. When you actually talk about a colleague, colleague is a word used for a person who is working with you. So when you, somebody is working with you, that person is called a colleague, irrespective of what age he is. So that person might be from the same department. It could be even difference in position. Then also they are all colleagues only. In your school, the principal, the te class teacher, the other teachers are all colleagues. So they are colleagues. So I would like to introduce my colleague, Mr. Vijay. So this is how you are going to introduce a colleague to a third Please person. the sales department. Okay. What do you say after being introduced? Good question. When you are introduced, you can say, Pleased to meet you. Or, Nice meeting you. Or, It's a pleasure meeting you. What does the other person say? So, in any conversation, you should know that people cannot create. Because in a conversation, there are two people or many people, but from two directions. So, it is not simply, agar aapas mein koi baat kar raha hai, divar jese kada ho jata hai. Achcha lagta hai kya? Wo bhi pratikriya dena hai na? Haan bolna. Achcha bolna. So that is very important. So that is the reason whenever there is a discussion, if one person is telling something, the other person also has to say. So if you say this is my friend Akash or this is my friend Jyoti, then you sh the other person should also say, pleased to meet you. Pleased. Please remember the name. P, uh, the word pleased. Please means Krupa Karke. P L E A S E. But when it comes, add a word D, pleased, jo banta hai, that means you are happy. So you are happy to meet him. So nice meeting you. Happy to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Any of the three things can be used when you are talking about, uh, when you are acknowledging. A person who is asking, uh, who is being introduced. The responses would be? So then please. if that person says, pleased to meet you, then you should say, pleased to meet you too. That means you are also happy to meet him, meet that person. Pleased to meet you too. Uh, nice meeting you too. Wow, I didn't know that. How do you start conversations politely? Yes, I do have this problem. You could just say, how are you? Or, how have you been? Or, how are you doing? So you just now sang the song. 
how do you do how do you do so when you meet somebody in normal this conversation you say aap kaise ho kya kar rahe ho so that is actually basically to start the conversation similarly in english you can say how are you how are you doing how do you do any of the phrases can be used for you to communicate your feeling to them in any spoken language please understand 93% of your communication happens by your behavior the way you handle you move your fingers your hands the more the way you position your hack of body the way your face shows its expressions that communicates more than the words you whether you say how do you do or how are you doing it doesn't matter you say how are you doing who is going to answer how do you do who is going to answer suppose you, how do you do how are you doing so it is the emotion that comes in it is the tone that comes in it is your body language that speaks more so please remember whenever you speak a language you should come with your own inside emotions into it the more you bring that bhav so shabdarth se jyada bhavarth hota hai so isliye aapka bhavna vyakt karna ab ati mulya hai amulya hai wo so it is important so the rest of it so when somebody says how are you you will automatically say i am fine thank you how are you so you can always talk back like this the responses would be fine thank you how are you or good thank you and you or very well thank you and you well how can we accept or refuse invitations politely okay that's about invitations and responses to invitation while inviting people you could say come in and sit down please if you are inviting a colleague to join you you say politely would you like to join me for a cup of coffee or may i take you out for dinner you can accept an invitation by saying so if somebody comes to the class please come come and sit down or when you go and invite somebody over there can you please come to my room can you please come and join me for lunch can you please join come and have a cup of tea with me can we both go together to belur mart so you can tell anything like this in that context this is the politeness that has to be brought forward can i can you please join me to go to belur mart is a good polite way to talk so please remember when somebody has to be invited there is an element of politeness that is there that has to be there so each of you have to start practicing this see listening will give you a better understanding of the language last time i told you every day at least 10 minutes you should listen to some english it could be an english news every day it could be on the radio it could be on the tv whichever way you are comfortable with but please listen to english then your language improves the second thing that you have to do is use the language language doesn't come by simply looking at it you have to use so in your class have a time period say today morning we all will speak only in english tomorrow afternoon we'll all speak in english so you can have scheduled times so when you converse in english you can and you can make any number of mistakes no problem at all okay because all of you have learnt even your bangla language after making mistakes only 
only thing is your mother was correcting your parents were uh, 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 relatives or very close relatives or people living with you or friends were correcting you your teacher was correcting you and that's how you improved your bangla similarly english can also be learned by having more and more talking within yourself so when somebody calls you and you want to accept an invitation what do you say yes thank you mm. or i would love to thank you okay so you are saying okay. i have something interesting here so Today, we are going to you know i have a prior so that's very nice of you but i'm sorry i have a prior so i if, have a prior appointment so if you know you are not able to join if there is an invitation and somebody is calling you and you are not able to join so how do you say that i'm sorry because this is the polite way to say you will simply say i don't come that is not the way to talk you should say i am sorry i am not able to join you i have a prior appointment or i am sorry i am very busy today can i join you tomorrow means i am not joining you today so you have to bring that conversational english within a emotional component which builds relationship between the two persons so the more you converse like that you will be able to communicate that better so please remember that your conversation should always have this please sorry etc to help you communicate better Or, and the other person to listen i would have loved to but i am not free now so when this is the other way it's very interesting mm. okay let's now watch the film okay so this is the way you are going to communicate this one so the more and more you listen to the language the more and more you use the language you will become more and more comfortable with it okay now let's go to the another exercise where we will start learning to read as well as understand this is a very simple song very simple this is again a simple conversation of introducing one person to the other at the same time learning about it you all know a pussy cat what's a pussy cat it's a billy you also know rabbit rabbit is a kargosh see how both of them are talking so you should all repeat this hello miss pussy cat how are you hello miss pussy cat how are you i am fine mr rabbit how about you i am fine mr rabbit how about you i am fine too madam thank you very much i am fine too madam thank you very much mr rabbit mr rabbit can we go for lunch i am sorry miss pussy cat i can't come now so here the rabbit is refusing to go with the cat for the lunch but how it says i am sorry miss pussy cat i can't come now so even when they are saying i am not able to come i am actually saying sorry because it is a very polite way of communicating so repeat this again hello miss pussy cat how are you hello miss pussy cat how are you i am fine mr rabbit how about you i am fine mr rabbit how about you i am fine too madam thank you very much i am fine too madam thank you very much mr rabbit mr rabbit can we go for lunch mr rabbit mr rabbit can we go for lunch 
आई एम सॉरी मिस पुस्सी कैट आई कान कम नाउ आई एम सॉरी मिस पुस्सी कैट आई कान कम नाउ सो द मोर यू टॉक द मोर यू स्पीक लाउड द मोर यू रोल योर टंग यू बिकम मोर कंफर्टेबल विद इट सो ट्राई 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 ओके नाउ लेट मी गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेट मी सी दिस ऑल्सो अबाउट इंट्रोड्यूसिंग हेलो हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन थैंक यू हेलो वॉट इज योर नेम माइ नेम इज बाल सुब्रमण्य हाउ डू यू डू हाउ डू यू डू हाउ डू यू डू इट्स नाइस टू मीट यू How do you do? How do you do? Please to meet you. Hello. Please take this business card. So business card basically means your visiting card, like this. You can show me. This is my visiting card. This is my business card. Please take this. So the this is how you communicate whenever you are meeting another. person do you understand okay now let me go into this simple task so now you know you have learned common phrases hello for people who are actually communicate for your close friends or any friend or person who is very close to you then you know how to wish good morning good afternoon and good evening then you are going to talk about my name is so and so i am from this place i am from mushidabad i am from kolkata i am from howrah so you can always tell that my father's name is so my father's name but if you are then it is my mother's name is but if you are talking both about your father and mother they are called parents then you say my parents are my parents are mrunalini and anantu you can say that so when you are using the word parents it use the word are but if you are saying only father separately mother separately my father's name is my mother's name is is what you say so you can keep on making sentences i eat bananas every evening what do you eat i eat fish every night this is you and i when we are using for others which were large number that is bahuvachan in other words in english it is called plural we say what are they reading what do they read they read english if it is yourself and you are a group of people then you say we we are reading english today we read bangla in the next period so you have to learn to make sentences the more sentences that you make it will be easy for you so now you can say my name is you can add your own name my village name is suppose you belong to a town or a city you put my city name is my town name is so my village name is my village name is gaon ka naam batao kamar pukur my father's name is my mother's name is my brother's name is my brother's name is anirban 
माई सिस्टर्स नेम इज ज्योतिका बट इफ यू आर यूजिंग ब्रदर्स देन इट से माई ब्रदर्स नेम्स आर सो यू यूज द वर्ड आर वेन देर इज प्लूरल वेन इट इज सिंगुलर यू यूज द वर्ड ईज माई ब्रदर्स नेम्स आर माई ब्रदर्स नेम्स आर राम एंड श्याम my sister's name r anu and tanu so now you share with your friend in the next one ask them what is your name you ask them where are you from look at how do you would you like to be a friend you call them and ask them because you are they are just sitting next to you you can talk to your person on the right side and ask these four questions what is your name where are you from would you like to be my friend what are your hobbies hobbies are hobbies means what you want what you enjoy doing you, yourself in the past time that is what is hobbies so havyas so havyas is hobby so what is your name where are you from would you like to be my friend what are your hobbies can you try with the person next to you it will be of great help to you try out try out try out so today we have learned how to introduce ourselves we are also able to tell simple things in terms of how to extend annotations as well as how to accept or refuse an invitation refuse in other words decline an invitation decline means not accept so accept decline then you also know how to start a conversation how are you how do you do you also know how to acknowledge that i am fine thank you i am pleased to meet you these are the ways you acknowledge then more important in the end you also should know that the more and more you listen the more and more you actually converse you become more and more comfortable with that language we'll meet again next week and take to the next one which is a very important story so the story you can look at it is basically to help you to read it so next time i'll make you read so one of you be ready with your mic then you can read this story is that okay so thank you very much today we finished the introduction to the class class shobai ekta attendance chat box e diye debe school gulo ke bolchi chat box e attendance ta diye debe please ha tk thank you sir thank you, thank you.